Good morning everyone, I'm Anne here from Anne Makes on YouTube as well as AnneMakes.blogspot.com, the blog where I share lots of DIYs, how-tos, product reviews, and tutorials mostly on uh, crafty and art related things. Today I am sharing with you a double Dollarama haul that I did yesterday. Yesterday I went out and did... I shopped at two Dollaramas, one Dollar Tree, uh, Giant Tiger, and the uh, veterinarians. And I came back and I was quite quite tired and I had work to do so I couldn't film but I kept everything in the bags and I have to do this this morning before I have to start working again. So here we go. So for first for Dollarama, the uh, food items that I purchased I got a couple of these French uh, barbecue sauce. These are two for $1.25. The Uncle Ben's uh, rice boil in a bag. Uh, they take eight minutes each. There's four bags, $2.50. Very practical for us during the week. A package of the smoothie straws. There are 50 in here, they're quite large. They're great, they're great exactly for that, for smoothies. And these are $1.25. Uh, some chocolates for snacking. I got the O. Henry uh, mini bar snack size for $2. The Kit Kat for $2. And uh, the Reese's mini little peanut butter cups snack size for two dollars oh uh, these are cough drops so just a small bag of honey lemon cough drops for a dollar fifty um, we a few of us in the house are still dealing with the the cold and a little bit of congestion and coughing so hopefully uh, hopefully we'll all be better <laughs> soon and we won't need cough drops. Uh, pepper. We need, need pepper, so here's a little box uh, for two dollars. It's not a bad price actually because the price of pepper in general has gone up. So that's not bad. A box of uh, extra large sandwich bags are 30 in here by Ziploc. They, these are $2.50. Oh, here's an energy drink from Hubby. And I don't remember, I think these are $2 or so. A box of uh, Quick Cook Couscous. This is $1.50. And, oh, we got something for Kitty. We got her treats that she likes. Uh, these are a dollar fifty, and they are tasty chicken flavor. And they are the Dentabites Oral Care for Kitty. Mmm. And also, I consider this a food item, even though it's not to be eaten, but it will be used with food. I got a package of the. Combo Pack Snackies Duo, where you get 10 drink cups that include the snack cup at the top and the straws. And they have these in available in these colors, like this blue, uh, pink, and kind of purple. And I just took a package of the blue ones. They're intended to be disposable, which I thought might be really practical to have in the for using in the car on the go and such uh, this summer so we can put like a little snack in the top and just keep a cold beverage and so moving on to non-food items I got some more of these shoe liners uh, they are $1.25 you get two pairs they're the little 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 shoe liners they're they're thin they're like a little cotton I believe they're a polyester spandex yeah they're not they're not little nylons they're a little thicker than that but they are very comfortable I've bought some other ones and I've been wearing them 
uh, inside my my slip-on shoes be just because I I don't want to wear a thick sock and I need I need something between my the skin of my feet and my shoes so I've been wearing these and I like them because they stay on all day so um, yeah these are worse that I find so you get oh no I got two pairs but each pair is a dollar twenty-five and I bought two different sizes I wasn't paying attention <laughs> okay so one pair will be falling off now because it's the wrong size all right moving on uh, this is new uh, a magnetic dryer sheet dispenser basically it's just a cover that you put So basically what you do is you put, let's pretend this is a box of dryer sheets. So you would put the box of dryer sheets in behind here and there's magnets here on, on the four corners and that sticks to the uh, washing machine or the dryer. And then you can pull each sheet out one at a time. So basically um, just keeps the, the box of dryer sheets close by. So I don't know if this, this will work and I don't know if it'll stay on when the like, washing machine goes into its spin cycle and it vibrates and you know, everything falls off usually. We'll give it a try. It might, it might work, hopefully. And this was not cheap though. This was uh, $3. Well, it's not expensive really, but still it's $3. So. And it's made of really hard, that hard, plastic. So uh, next up are some uh, cleaning products that I needed to buy for the house. I got the Clorox cleaner here, uh, 700 milliliters for $2.50. And a box of Arm & Hammer OxyClean Extra Strength Carpet Odor Eliminator for $2.50 and this is for the kitty cat litter box. I wanted to get more Arm & Hammer uh, litter deodorizer but uh, I did not see it at Dollarama. And this is Percara cat litter deodorizer for uh, $1.50. I never tried this before so this will be a first. And I hope that, I like it. I hope it does what it's supposed to do. <laughs> and a bottle of a Schmidt food, uh, plant food fertilizer. And this is a concentrate that you need to mix a tablespoon per uh, like watering can, big watering can for food for your plants outdo uh, outdoors says it's all use all purpose so, got that. and uh, by the way the I went to two dollar ramas because the one dollar rama that I usually go to is again um, rehauling the store uh, they they've been moving the shelves around in this dollar rama over the last year and I have to say that I'm sure it, it'll be really nice once it's all done but it's been I'm finding that it's been a long process because it's often in disarray and there's boxes everywhere and then you can't go down the aisle. and I have to say that yesterday they were quite snippy <laughs> um, and I don't like the new setup I hear that they, they were telling me that all the Dollaramas across Canada are going to have the same setup. I've seen other Dollaramas in more urban areas, and uh, I noticed that now the, the caches are all lined up on one side, and it's kind of like going to Winners or Marshalls, and you kind of have to line up. You know, you have this like zig zigzagging queue to go through, kind of like at the bank or at the airport, kind of... I think it's kind of ridiculous and then you have a very 
very small counter space to put your items on. And there's no room for you and the cart, really. And then the cashier was was snippy because she um, she didn't want people putting the stuff from the cart on the counter because the counter's not large. And then she was filling, she was taking the counter space to fill up the bag. And, and how are you expecting people to take the bag full of stuff in this space where you still have a car? I mean, I, I go, when I go to Dollarama, I'm sorry, I buy like a cart full of stuff. And yesterday I did not have, at one store, I did not have that many items. And I felt really uncomfortable and being pushed by other customers, first of all, and by the cashier who was snippy, who didn't want the stuff on the counter while she was scanning them. Um, it just, like I, I see, I understand that they wanna be more efficient, but uh, they're not making the uh, customer, the, well, the customer service at that Dollarama is really, uh, but now with this new system, they're not making it a very pleasant experience, let me tell you. And a couple of times I heard, I heard other customers go in and because the store is all a mess and they did put signs saying we're sorry, you know, for the inconvenience of uh, the stores is messy because we're doing, we're, you know, we're overhauling it and stuff, which, which is understandable. Uh, but uh, uh, customers were coming in and asking, oh, where's this, you know, uh, do you have any of this? And a lot of the staff were being really rude. They were saying, well, if it should be in the aisle, you know, three or aisle what, eight or whatever, and uh, it should be there. And uh, if there is any, and it was like, wow, what customer service really? It's like, if you're lucky to find it, you can buy it. If not, get out of here. <laughs> so Dollarama, really, some of your stores really need to work on their customer service. Um, <clears throat> I bought this package of Viscui biscuits for $2, uh, 500 grams. And two rolls of the scented garbage bags, one blue, one of this like vanilla color. And you have 10 in here. And I don't remember how much these are and there's no price on them. But now with Dollarama's new pricing policy, just because something doesn't have the dollar written on it, doesn't mean that it's a dollar. It, you know, you get the surprise when you get to the cash, which is another thing that kind of ticks me off. And I noticed yesterday when I was in this Dollarama that was becoming like the brand, the new style of Dollarama, uh, the prices, I didn't see hard, like there was barely anything for a dollar, nothing. And everything, all the items, like the cleaning items, the beauty items, most of the items were just brand name. There was no off brands or private label stuff. It was all brand name. And like I couldn't find shampoos, soaps, or anything for less than three dollars a bottle. So um, I guess they 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 I don't know what their philosophy is, but the higher prices, the lack of space to make your shopping experience pleasant is is not adding to my. I came out of there frustrated. <laughs> Really, I'm just like frustrated. Not I go to I used to go to Dollarama and feel like excited to be there, and it was my happy place, and I could shop around. And I shop a lot at Dollarama. You you should you know that. And I spend a lot of money at Dollarama every just about every week. And um, in some stores, you know me, you see me, and. I would appreciate it if you treated me a little bit nicer. Just saying. Okay. So next, some of the fun items that I purchased. Uh, these uh, paper trimmers. They're only nine inches long, 
which is okay for small paper crafts, but it's not practical for uh, 12 by 12 paper because it's only nine inches. But it's fun because it's uh, $4. And it's very practical to have extra trimmers. And I have to pay at least $4 probably just to change the blade. So um, I'm happy to pay $4 for a nine inch trimmer just to have extras. Uh, some seashells. This was a, an older Dollarama that was not undergoing renovations there. And these are $1.50. This is probably old stock from last year. And this bag, $1.50. I noticed that this year's stock of seashells only comes in glass bottles or acrylic uh, containers, and they're $3. To so give you the heads up. I thought this was really cute. I bought two of these. I did open one. I don't know where it is right now. Uh, this is by Floracraft. It is $3. It is a floral arranging toolkit. And you get the little pouch and you get uh, cutting pliers, little sticks with wires and tape. I'll show you when I, one that I opened already. I'll show you one that I already opened and I'll put a picture here somewhere. Another fun crafty item I picked up were these googly eyes by Jolie's. I am not in need of more of these uh, Google eyes, but I couldn't resist the packaging because it's a kitty cat. And you get, well, it's $1.50 and you, it doesn't say how many you get in here. Or maybe it does, but I don't have my glasses on so I can't really tell. Some other fun items are these butterfly clips. They're very pretty. I got white ones for $1.50. You can see that. It's hard to see because they're white <laughs> and clear. The older Dollarama had a lot of these left, so I got one of each color of the hemp ropes uh, at $1.25. Again, this was at the older Dollarama. Uh, I wanted some more of this cotton gourd. I've been looking for cotton. I don't want these sent for, for a project. I wanted cotton, so this is $2. And there is 29 feet of cotton rope on here. These I thought were really, really cute. For $1.50, you get a set of eight mustache pins. Mustache push pins. Thank you. I got those. There's another one of the twine. Not the twine, the uh, hemp rope, I should say. Uh, one of each color that they had of the Color Sense Scented Felt Tip Pens by Sentos. Each one is $1.50 for two. I got these ones and this one. I got a couple packs of these stickle letter alphabets. They kind of change a little bit if you move them. And they're, they're kind of like citrus colors, I would call them. Nice for summer time project layouts and stuff. And I got uh, three of each font that they had of the, they have two, two of these uh, fonts, adhesive alphabet stencils. So I had three of this one and three of this one. And they're $1.25. There are 30 pieces in each kit. The reason I got three of each is because when I am making a project and I'm trying to spell out a word, it, it's just convenient to have all the letters and not have to move the letters around. Um, I hope, the, since these are adhesive, I hope to use these on glass for etching purposes. 
I'm looking forward to giving those a try for, for that. Uh, and, oh, I really like these pouches. Triple zipper pouches. They're like huge pencil cases or makeup cases or cases to store electronics when you're traveling. I'm always purchasing uh, little bags and stuff for traveling purposes. I like to be really organized when I'm, I'm traveling. And I thought these were really, really cute. And I got one of each, one in this color, one in this color, and they had a lot of other colors. But I'm a little disappointed that these are $3.50 each. They're pretty though, but they're not very, very, they're not cheap. Um, apparently summer is around the corner. I don't know. We we haven't had much of a spring lately, but I'm still I'm still hopeful that we get some summer. And I bought eight of these pot stands. They're to put your flower pots on top, like this. You put the pot on top, so it lifts them off the the ground or like keeps them elevated from your deck or whatever so there's some air circulation underneath each pot so i got several of those for my some of my flower pots that i'll have outside there were two of these and i bought both the patio lounge chair covers very practical to use in the summer and well it keeps the chairs dry when it rains for one thing and also when when we go through that sticky pollen the season it protects the chairs and finally i bought this mighty blaster fireman's nozzle um try me it says it has fireman no nozzle power i don't know i will try this and it's it's pretty big but it is four dollars that's what it says it says Mighty Blaster Fireman's Nozzle. A picture here shows that it has a really, really powerful spray. So we'll see if that's true. So that is that for the combined uh, Dollarama hauls and a little rant. Sorry about that. But I just had to put my two cents in there. I hope you uh, liked this uh, video and I would appreciate a thumbs up. Any comments and questions? I, which I will read and respond to and if you're not subscribed and you'd like to please do so uh, it's free and painless <laughs> so thank you so much for your support thank you for watching take care of yourself and I will catch you after the next haul bye